So when I was little, um, I was kind of just going to church about every other week once I started, once I turned like five and a half or six when my parents first divorced. And that's just because my dad kind of just wanted us to start going, so we did. Um, and I didn't really know what it was or what it meant. And as kind of time went on, I just, bad things started happen happening with my dad. Um, and I didn't want to like relate to anything that was like him. And I saw him as like what a Christian is. And I was like, I don't want to be like that. So then I ran away from that because that's the only kind of faith that I knew. So it changed when my grandma died. Um, so what had happened was I wasn't there, but um, I was awake when she passed away. And my mom had said to me the next day that um, as my grandma was going, she shouldn't have been able to lift her head and she lifted her head and she looked past my mom. And my mom was like, she saw something. She's like, I don't know what that something was, but she saw it. That night, as she was passing away, I was praying. And I was saying, hey, you know, if it's time for her to go, take her. I don't want her to hurt anymore. And I felt a little something and I didn't know what that was until that next day when my mom told me that, you know, this is what had happened. and. In that moment, I knew that, you know, that was, that was Christ. Probably the, I think it was the next day, I talked to my English teacher at the time, Mr. Sofaletto, and I said to him, hey, can I come with you and your family and go to church? Because he had offered me a couple of times before. He's like, well, if you ever want to come, just ask. And then he brought me with, and um, that was the first time that I'd ever came to Northridge. Within that week, I, started to believe that like, yep, this is, Christ died for me. I had been through a lot in those years that I didn't believe. I developed a lot of different disorders and um, he helped me get away from all of that. He saved me from those things. He saved my life. He saved me from all of the suffering that I was going through. And now he's still saving me to this day. He's still helping me battle these things that I've been battling for years. And it's a lot less difficult now that I know that I have him beside me, walking me through it the entire time. I wanna get baptized so I can show the world and show myself that I am a follower of Christ. I am going to wear the cross. I am going to be faithful, and I'm not going to be ashamed of being faithful. I'm going to be the best Christian that I can be and show the people around me that this is how wonderful being a Christian and um, following Christ is. I'm just really glad that I found him again. <laughs>